Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First time ever, I'm gonna be talking about Color 2 Shell Cordovan. All right, so let's open her up. Beautiful green Alden box with the gold embossed logo there, love it. A lot of guys keep all their boxes. I don't have the space anymore to keep all my boxes. These are the Alden of Eldwine Raleigh. These are the Color 2 Shell Cordovan Cap Toe Boot, often referred to as the Jumper Boot. They came with these beautiful, fresh flannel Alden boot bags, as well as some lovely literature on Horween Shell Cordovan, a nice little insert from Aldwine Raleigh's shop. Matt says, Dale, thank you, my friend. And so this is a very big day for me because I've been waiting for Alden Rare Shell for quite some time. I've made no secret of it. My buddy Matt Gray at Aldwine Raleigh was kind enough to reach out to me and actually offer me a slot in this order. And so I'm eternally grateful to Matt. He is an Alden legend. He has so much Rare Shell in his collection and he became such an Alden aficionado over the course of a couple years that he opened up his own Alden shop. I'm not just saying this because I'm biased, he does some of the best releases. Every single makeup that he does, it's, also, it's always got a really cool name and it's always a super duper cool design. Matt has an amazing eye for picking makeups and for picking leathers and uppers and models and things like that. So this video is dedicated to Matt Gray, the Alden legend himself. <laughs> I actually tried to stop by his shop uh, about a year ago, but they were closed. I'll leave links to his Instagram accounts in the description below. Follow him if you don't already. Matt told me he's been allocated the rarest of rare shell, which is number two shell cordovan. And he wanted to see if I was interested. The boot is made with antique brass and double leather berry last and this is in a size 8e i've settled on that size as being my alden size um, typically i wear eight and a half in most boot brands and the alden lasts do just run a little long so i shorten that length just by a half size and then i add a width because i have tried on aldens in 8d and they are just a little snug the 8e is a perfect fit i do the same sizing with my grant stones as well so a little bit about aldwine raleigh we named our store Aldwine as an homage to Alden. Aldwine, pronounced Aldwine, is an old English name that means old friend, from which the name Alden is derived. Our mission is to serve as, as Raleigh's finest men's shop and develop lasting friendships in the community like our name implies. So they have some incredible makeups like the Aldwine Imperial long wing blucher in tan alpine green. They do the Franconia medallion tip blucher in brown chrome excel leather stunning they also offer a similar model to this one they do the jumper boot in color 8 shell cordovan they call it the yarborough they've got the glenwood in Loden suede they have the mogavero aldwine shoe nabler collaboration the plain toe black shell cordovan model they do a lot of norwegian split toes a lot of different amazing indie boot models and anyway they've, they've done so many, so many different models. One of the coolest ones is the Aldwine Matt Gray Suede Indie. I really like that. Matt Gray, named after Matt himself. And then one of my favorite Indies that he's done is the Sedona in Smooth Chamois, which is very similar to my Alden Indie boot in Smooth Chamois, the Vintage Indie, which is the best Indie hands down. Period, there's no room for debate on that. And so this is model D3823. What's really cool is I've never had an Alden like this before. It's got its standard welt stitch. It's a 360 degree Goodyear welt with a split reverse welt. But then the split reverse welt appears to be, actually it looks like it's stitched into the upper, but I don't think it is. I think there's a cosmetic stitch going through the split reverse welt, possibly just for cosmetic purposes, though I can't exactly tell. Actually, I do see it feeding into the leather in certain areas, so. That is really cool. And uh, this color too is very similar to Garnet Shell Cordovan. Here are my Grant Stone Diesel Boots in Garnet Shell Cordovan. And uh, 
comparing them, they are different, though it could be a batch variation. But yeah, the Garnet and the Color 2 seems to be pretty close in, in coloration. The Garnet is actually less ruby red compared to the Color 2. The Color 2 is a little bit more vibrant, though it could be because these are unworn. So I'm not exactly 100% sure. Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather, and I have four different Shell Cordovan colors with color numbered names on the table here to show you. We're gonna compare and contrast color number two Shell Cordovan, color four, color eight, and color number 16 Shell Cordovan. The first color we're gonna look at is called color number two, which is actually now a past name. This color is now known as Garnet Shell Cordovan, but before it was known as Garnet, this was known as color number two or Ruby Shell Cordovan. The tannery actually changed the color name because the dyes that they were receiving were slightly different and they didn't want to confuse their customers. So this one right here is the most red color that Horween makes and it's a really beautiful shade. At some angles actually, it kind of encroaches a little bit darker and a little bit more brown, sort of like a color four, but it's definitely more ruby red than any of the other colors that we're going to look at. So you'll notice as I spin this around, the colors will become a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. So at this angle here, I'm noticing it's about the light range that we normally see, a little bit of orange to it almost. And then as I spin it around, it becomes a little bit darker and more brown. The guys at Horween, they have slight variations and recipes for every different color. And so this is a rare Alden shell color. The ubiquitous colors are of course, color eight shell cordovan, as well as black shell cordovan. You don't have to be on any lists to get that stuff. You can just get it. It's very simple, but to land something like this, it's incredibly difficult. Um, I've been in the boot game for probably 10 years now, and I've never, never held anything in my hands quite like this. We've got an amazing veg tan outsole. I'll probably have my cobbler, cobbler sunny install some toe tips on there. The cap toe is perforated and pinked. I love the pinking. Pinking really sets it off. And then the tongue is also color two shell cordovan. We've got five antique standard eyelets, four antique speed hooks, classic Alden design with this sort of stitch pattern running along the top of the collar and then across the quarter here. Stunning. And uh, I know I've dunked on Alden in the past, but I still love that brand. I will always support them. They are very closed off. The way it was explained to me is they're closed off because they want their stores to speak for them. They don't want the company, their their factory necessarily to speak for them, their HQ. They, they want to develop friendships with their shops. Their shops then develop friendships with their local customers. And that's kind of how it works out. That's how they retain that that human feel to the company that I think is actually quite crucial, uh, especially in today's world. We get into customers that they expect, you know, free two day delivery. Everybody's competing with Amazon Prime. Everybody wants things real fast, uh, but there's something quite savory about waiting a really long time for something and then getting it. But I'd say these are definitely worth the wait. Uh, this is gonna be a crown jewel of my boot collection. No doubt about that. I just love the brilliant aesthetic of this. It's just, it just glows from every angle that you look at it. It, it would have been a huge disservice to paint this sole, stain the sole edge black, for example. The sole edge has been antiqued, real warm, real woodsy look, combined with the nice, really reddish tones of the upper, in addition to the brass eyelets, and the finished edges around here are a nice uh, warm brown color as well. Everything just comes together in this makeup beautifully between the natural color of the outsole, the upper, and the edge staining. All of it combined just really culminates in just a zenith pair of boots. Not to mention we've got this nice sleek Alden Berry Last. Fits my foot perfectly. Stay tuned on my Instagram. I will be posting these eventually when I get around to wearing them. I probably, truth be told though, keep these in the box for a while. This is a really special pair and I kind of just want to sit back and admire them for a while and just uh, open them up every now and then and just uh, admire them and gaze at them because this is a really special, special piece and Rare Shell is such a treat when you finally get it. It is, the, there's, it's indescribable, there's nothing like it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. What do you think about, about this pair of Grail Shell Cordovan? I'm in love. 
I don't even want to touch them. They're so pretty. Um, <laughs> again, huge, huge thanks to Matt Gray for extending this opportunity my way. Can't thank you, thank you enough, sir. You are the man. Anybody who's shopping for Alden, please look up Aldwine Rally. In my opinion, they're one of the best in the game, hands down. There's other shops that I really like, but Aldwine Rally, Matt Gray really strikes the perfect chord for makeups, keeping them current uh, while retaining that classic look. But he is pushing the envelope. Similar to the guys at Grant Stone, they get really adventurous with their makeups. So does Matt. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. I will see you all in my next video.